Neil Carlson, uh, now in uh, Amarado, about 15 miles west of Grand Forks, just down the road from our villa. Just at the base here across the highway, uh, I've got a report to 10 and a half inches of rain. You got a homeowner here, so did you wind up with a little water in your basement? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, actually, it's my parents' place, and yeah, they end up with about a foot of water in the basement, unfortunately. Okay. Well, do you live in town, too? I live in Grand Forks. Okay. What time did this hit, do you know? I believe it was approximately between uh, 8 and 10 o'clock last night. I guess it rained for about two hours steady, nonstop. Okay. So, lots of water all over. Unfortunately. Is there many many houses in town you think got it? or? Um, From what I understand, about a third of them actually have sewer backup, unfortunately, as well. Oh. So, yeah. And is the problem here also uh, the railroad tracks in town just kind of back it up before it can drain out of town? That and as well as just anything that's coming from the west and moving this way down the ditch, unfortunately, oh. as well. So. All right. Thanks for talking yep. to me. Thank you very much. All right. We're in uh, Emirato, North Dakota now, about 15 miles uh, west of Grand Forks. Now, this is on the south end of Emirato, just to give you an idea of the amount of water flowing uh, into this area. coming over the roads here uh, around this house. This is rolling through the culvert here. We're going to walk down a ways and give you a look at uh, what's going on. Water just rolling through the yards here. Again, as you heard uh, from the homeowner uh, a couple blocks away, around uh, 10 and a half inches of rain in this area. Zoom in on the uh, kids' swing set in the backyard. Got a mess out here in Emirato. Again, this is about 15 miles west of Grand Forks. Water slowly draining out of town, held back a bit. Uh, but it's on its way out, uh, but not before uh, making a pretty good mess here. In Emirato, North Dakota, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.